Okay, so now what if I could propose a solution that would give your family a lot more resources and would cut out a lot of red tape uh, when you're taking care of your aging loved one? Would you be interested in that? Good, because those sorts of solutions are available to people. And it's important to be able to get that information in advance so that you know when to get those types of resources and also when you'll be able to cut out that red tape. It's something that a lot of people don't wanna think about, but it's very, very important. And because as you can imagine, there's a lot of benefit. And that is the idea of palliative care and hospice. This does tend to have a negative connotation. And if the main thing you get from this tip today is that you are open-minded to researching and getting information about palliative care and hospice, then this was a big win today. So very important to understand. Palliative care and hospice does not necessarily mean end of life care. It means that we're going to focus not so much on just extending life all the time. We're going to focus on resources, comfort, and quality of life. It's very, very powerful because it can get a large amount of healthcare providers working with your aging loved one. It can get the right resources. It can cut out a lot of things that used to be required. Now we don't have to worry about those things anymore. And we find that oftentimes when people go on hospice, they sometimes they thrive. And that's because the focus is different. It's let's focus on the quality of life, comfort, and cut out the red tape. And people do oftentimes thrive in those scenarios. We have clients who have been on hospice for six, nine months, one and a half years, and they just keep living their life. They are going out to the lake house and having a great time with their family. They're going to weddings and granting with their granddaughters. They're going and um, having coffee with their friends on a regular basis. So they're still living life, even though they're on hospice. And what I want you to get out of this is start thinking about these solutions now. Don't wait till when I'm ready to be in that mindset or when you know mom gets to this point or I'm not ready to think about that yet. Get the resources now from the right professionals so that when the time comes or you can even have a better understanding of when that time is, you'll be able to make those decisions better. So you have that understanding, you know the details, you'll know what it all means. And so then you'll be able to make those decisions in the right time when, when they arrive. And oftentimes we find that people will go to hospice too late. They could have utilized a lot of those resources earlier. And then now when they have it, they're thinking, oh, why didn't I do this earlier? And it's because a lot of times people don't know. And it's because people don't want to think about end of life. Now, think of hospice as resources and cutting out red tape. That's really what it is. Don't think of it as end of life so that you can begin to think about getting the best for yourself, your family, the team taking care of the aging loved one. And so that way you can get the best outcome possible.